How's it going everyone? The PlayStation Plus titles for the month of January of 2023. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment period for me to get used to saying 2023. I feel like this happens every year for the first couple of months when you're writing things down, you still put dash 2022, etc, etc. But we'll get there. Uh, they are what Deal Labs in fact leaked out. We have a brief update on the extra and premium lineups as well. Uh, so we'll talk that and we've got some fantastic PS4 and PS5 game deals. One of these games, great deal on it, and uh, I definitely got to gush about it a little bit. So we'll get to that. All of these are pretty good deals, so we'll get to that in a second. But yes, yeah, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Fallout 76, and Axiom Verge 2 are the three plus freebies. Now, if you have yet to download December's monthly titles, this is your last chance to do so, and you definitely should do so, given that Divine Knockout Founders Edition is whatever, it's fine, it's a nice edition, but Mass Effect Legendary Edition, huge. If you haven't played the Mass Effect Trilogy, I mean, you have to, and that version is really good. The fact it's a plus title, just highway robbery, to be perfectly honest, if you don't have that game. And then Biomutant as well. It seemed like from December, a lot of people gravitated towards Biomutant. I imagine because, you know, like, everybody already bought Mass Effect, so that's kind of an issue. Not uh, Obviously, everybody's a hyperbole, but, um... You know, a lot of people bought Mass Effect already, so Biomune was one of those games that came out in 2021, and some people checked it out, some people didn't based on the reviews. I liked it a little bit more than most people, but definitely it was a disappointment, but now you're talking, you know, how long has it been? 18 months since that game initially came out, and people are going into it with tempered expectations and being like, hey, this game's actually not that terrible. It's actually a decent little open world game. Um, you know, it's a comfortable 6 or 7 out of 10, but it's a fine game as a plus title, and I think a lot of people were pleasantly surprised by that so if you haven't checked out december's titles yet make sure you add them to your library so you can check them out as long as you're a subscriber obviously we can spend another 10 minutes gushing about star wars jedi fallen order i've talked about this game at length given that jedi survivor is scheduled for a release in march if you have yet to play jedi fallen order highly recommend you do so because it's an excellent game and if you have a ps5 runs beautifully on the ps5 as well so definitely a game you want to check out. Again, this is the game that kind of got me not into Star Wars fandom, but at least let me, like, open the door for me to give Star Wars more of a chance. I've watched a couple of the movies now. Uh, you know, I haven't watched all the movies. I know some people say some things about the, the latest trilogy, I guess the Disney trilogy. I don't even know. I know Disney Plus is a bunch of shows, but I started with the... Uh, the original trilogy, so I don't even know how the order goes. I'm watching them sequentially based on the timeline, so that, that's what I'm doing. But uh, nonetheless, I still got a lot more to watch, and you know, we take things pretty slowly. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a far cry from me falling asleep uh, in the theater for Rogue One, but nonetheless, Jedi Fallen Order was an excellent game, and I really enjoyed my time with it. Uh, Jedi Survivor is a direct sequel, so you'll definitely want to play Jedi Fallen Order before you jump on that, and that game is a next-gen exclusive, so bear that in mind, get prepared to spend $70 on that. Fallout 76, kind of a bummer here, given that this game is already on PlayStation Plus Extra, so um, yeah, that's kind of lame, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Axiom Verge 2, that's a pretty notable entry as well. Most people don't, uh, you know, hold it as uh, in as high regard as Axiom Verge 1, but still a nice little addition there, and as an accessory title, I think it's fine. When I say accessory title, it's like a tertiary game or Fallout and Star Wars. Those are very well-known IPs. Axiom Verge is a game that, you know, a smaller portion of people are gonna check out, but it's nice to have that as a tertiary title, another title that, you know, the people that do check it out probably will end up having a good time with it. So, yeah, those are your January monthly titles, and it was noted that the PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium lineups for January will be announced soon. I would imagine we'll probably hear about them in the next week or two. So probably like, I would say January 10th to January 16th, like around that range, we'll probably hear about it. As far as the Plus Essential games, those will all be available come January 3rd. So January 1st is New Year's Day. Uh, which is Sunday, of course. Yeah, obviously January 1st is New Year's Day. That's a Sunday. So these will be available that uh, following Tuesday. So you can check all of those out. So be on the lookout for those as they drop January 3rd. All right, lastly, do want to cover a couple of great deals available right now. Near Replicant, $16 at GameStop. Near Replicant is awesome. While I agree it's not as good as Nier Automata, it's not as strong from a gameplay standpoint, Nier Automata's got that Platinum Games Midas touch going on for it, but Replicant is still a really solid game, and this is a refined, remastered, remade version of Nier that came out all the way back in 2010, so a lot of people missed out on that game just because Nier kind of exploded with Automata, at least over here in the West. 
I don't think a lot of people expected that game to do as well as it did. And then Square Enix probably looked at it being like, hey, we got something here with this IP. And then they, you know, redid Replicant and it turned out to be a great game. You know, $60 was a little pricey for it, given that it was initially a PS3 game from 2010. But, you know, $16? Oh, hell yeah. And I even thought it was worth $60. I actually got like the super special edition of it. So yeah, I nagged really hard buying this game. But nonetheless, I really enjoyed it. And obviously, when it comes to Nier... The soundtrack is tremendous. I know I gushed about Neo The World Ends With You earlier today, but near right up there with World Ends With You in terms of having a fantastic soundtrack. So think you guys will enjoy Nier Replicate at $16. That's a great price. And if you haven't played Automata, obviously play that as well. Next up, Tactics Ogre Reborn is down to $35. So this is the deepest discount I've seen on this game. Now, this is a refined version of the PSP release of Tactics Ogre. What you have to know about this game is... I don't know, maybe I just suck at video games, but you are going into a challenging experience here. There is quite a bit of depth here. So uh, this thing for the fan of heart, it is a little bit on the challenge side. Great from a narrative standpoint, and you have a different route to go through. Um, you'll definitely get your money's worth in terms of content and replay value, but just be mindful of the fact that this is uh, initially a PSP game, and that PSP game was a remaster of a PS1 game. So... You're talking a, a, a retro experience here, but they do modernize it to an extent. $35, I think, is a pretty good price, just if you're into tactics-based titles. I mean, the game is called Tactics Ogre. It kind of was one of the, you know, iconic games of that genre. So $35, I think, is a decent deal here. Lost Judgment, $15 off over... Uh, $15 in general, I mean, on Amazon. It's typically $60, so it's actually 75% off. Lost Judgment is great. Play Judgment first. This is a sequel to it. But uh, yeah, Lost Judgment is fantastic. And $15 on it. Again, another deal that honestly seems like highway robbery in terms of content, quality... The amount of content you're getting again, and for the price you're paying, yeah, really, really good deal here. Couple deals to round things out over from Gamefly. Saints Row 2022 is $15. Yeah, I'm not even going to elaborate on that. It's a game that came out four months ago and is down to 15 bucks. If you want to pick it up, expect some cringe, but it's Saints Row. Like, Saints Row has always been kind of cringy, but, uh... Yeah, this is uh, another level of cringe. Technically speaking, it's not like a blow-away game from a visual standpoint. There's some, um, you know, fun gameplay elements to it. But uh, yeah, there you go with that. And then I also want to give a shout to Solstice Deluxe Edition, which is 1999. This is an action game that kind of slipped through the cracks back in September. Came out at a budget price point of like $50. I know, but I guess $50 really ain't that budget, but it's cheaper than $60 or $70. So yeah, $20 for it is a steep discount for it. If you're a fan of fast-paced action titles, you know, your DMC style games might be something you want to check out. $19.99 seems like a pretty good price, all things considered. And that is going to do it for me. Again, the PlayStation Plus titles for January have been officially confirmed. Jedi Fallen Order, Fallout 76, Axiom Verge 2, Essential and Premium revealed uh, coming soon. That, that reveal will be coming soon. Let's... Fingers crossed for some good premium titles. I feel like I say that every month, and I'm probably going to be disappointed yet again. Near Replicant, $16. Tactics Over Reborn, $35. Lost Judgment, $15. Saints Row 2022. Solstice. Link to everything in the description box below. As always, thank you for watching. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section down below, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.